Welcome to the Aftermarket Wall Street Re Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date is 10th month, 8th day of 2018. Hello, Vegas. How are you doing Hello. today? That was an interesting way to say October the 8th. October the 8th. <laughs> okay, well, guys, we have uh, quite a few things to cover today, and we don't want to be long-winded because... Uh, we try to keep it short and simple and fresh like Jim likes it. So um, the first one we'll talk about today, guys, is ALT. Well, let me tell you, I wasn't too happy about that one today because that was a swing trade from Friday. And uh, that stock had an offering. And, uh, you know, they had an offering today. For 25 million registered shares, made the stock, you know, the stock pre-market was going so well. I mean, it even went to like 10 bucks and I thought, wow, this is a great swing. And of course, nice little slap and the offering gets announced. And I'm like, are you kidding me? This is such BS. So the stock did pull back. They have an offering price of $5.40 for one share and a warrant to purchase of one share of common stock. Um, the offering, interestingly, closes on October 10th. That is a really fast close. Sometimes these offerings take a month to close. Um, so this one's just closing in a couple days. I know a lot of people are probably stuck in the trade, right, Jim? So yep. maybe you could help look at the chart and see what happens or what you think is going to happen with the stock and maybe give some support and resistance levels. Some people may not be selling the stock. They want to see this, you know, recover after the offering, if in fact it can. Yep. So I'm going to turn it over to Jim to talk about the chart and see how we can best guide people. Uh, I can tell you that I'm still holding some because uh, I sold at the high, but then... Um, I thought it would go. I thought it would go higher, and of course, but I was going to put a stop loss. And by the time I was ready to do that, this thing pulled back. So lesson is put a trailing stop in. So, anyhow, I'll turn it over to Jim now to talk about this chart. Yep, uh, this has been like a roller coaster ride, or maybe Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall, one or the other. But we were all excited about this Friday. We had a nice little run up and it pulled back to my support. And this is one that I kind of scolded them on myself Friday. And because, you know, I didn't recognize that it was going to be a good stock for the rest of the night. So we got all excited close to after this news came out and everybody jumped back in. And, and I had a swing trade on it. And I came in this morning and after hours and here we're up at 1065 high in the day. And we're thinking, OK, we're going to hit our $15 mark. And then right before open, right before the market opened, the offering comes out. And the thing just tanked. And so some of us were not fortunate to get out of that. I, got, I didn't have a very big position, and I got stopped out. But let me tell you something. Uh, this, this disturbs your confidence. Uh, not your confidence level, but, I mean, it disturbs your, 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 your path, the way of thinking when it comes to day trading. So me and Vegas called this at the bottom. We thought it was going to reach 540 today. So that's what we're looking for right now. We want it to touch back to 540. And I think it's going to consolidate in this area for the next two or three days until that offering gets closed. And once that offering's closed, we'll probably get a little bit more bounce back up. But I'm taking it off my watch list, ALT. <coughs> ALT. Okay. Hopefully you're okay there, Jim. Um, a little itch in my throat. Excuse next, me. Next uh, one we're going to talk about is ears. E A R S. Yeah. So that one had a nice little run today. That was actually, we called this many times in the room. Um, but we, you know, this opened up this morning at 47.08, market hours at 9.30, and ran as high as 84.95. So it didn't break 85 cents. But original target was around 80 cents, so we were quite pleased with that. I was actually thinking this could go to 90, but no such luck on EARS. Now, EARS um, is waiting for phase one data for the vertigo uh, treatment, and so waiting to hear on that. 
some people feel that news is imminent and maybe a PR would be coming soon. Don't know. And we're just playing the chart action. So I actually um, got stopped out on my second round of ears. I went in at 71 and it pulled back to 65 and I was out of the trade. So I didn't continue or swing trade ears. So I think it should still be on watch though because the volume was really good and it's a really small float. So who knows what's gonna happen on this one. And maybe Jim, you can certainly review that chart there as well. Yeah, ears here, we had a couple of nice little positions. I mean, right out of the gate, Vegas knew it was thing was this thing was on fire. And we could watch through the tape and it just ran all the way up. I mean, it was no holding back. And on the way up, it kind of pulled back a little bit and created a little support here at 67 cents. So I drew me a little trend line right there once it pulled back there and called that my first support the rest of the day or my second. Well, once it hit that, it bounced all the way up and created that new high. So we were pretty well bullish. And Vegas and I were calling each of these resistance lines as it went up. And these are pre-existing from a previous run. So it pulled back, and, and I want to let you all know, this week I've added the 100 SMA to my, to my charts here. So I'm going to be playing off that 100 SMA along with the 50 and the 200. So it pulled on back and created a support right there, and Vegas and I call this 6250 50 out, 625. So that's going to be your solid support. So later on, it bounced off that thing. Went back up to that resistance level at 78, which we called, and it pulled right back to that same support level here at close. Right there at 625, and then we started bounce, bouncing up into the after hours. So we're keeping ears on watch. So keep your ears wide open for us calling it out, maybe on stock twits. We might post a few charts in there. But uh, So I'm just going to watch this tomorrow and see if we can keep the same price action going. And I'm going to try to find me a channel, and I'm going to flip this baby. And this is ears. And the next ears. one the next one we're going to talk about is one that we love to hate, <laughs> one that we hate, and then one that we hate to love. All in one. Yeah, so IGC, so India Globalization Capital. You know, I'm wondering, because, you know, if you guys watch these videos, I mean, we showed you a picture of the office in washington dc and the stock today opened up at 499 market hours obviously and went all the way to 678 now i didn't catch this honestly myself till 621 because i wasn't really watching the stock and because i kind of thought oh my god this stock is crazy and too risky meanwhile this thing's going now i'm wondering do you think they got a new office <laughs> I mean, maybe they got a new office and they, they're actually in a real building. So, I mean, I don't know what's making this run. Nobody knows what's making this run. Um, um, I, there's no news. There's nothing. So, I mean, Jim, what do you think? Because you were right now, like, right you were now, amazed at this too. Yeah, right now we're having a little knife here. I want you all to look at this. It's it's touching down. This is part of my case study. We have the 50 and we have the 100 and we have the 200 SMA. So right now we're bouncing off that 592 at 200 SMA. So if I had, you know, if I was, I would might consider to get in at this level right here because, you know, it's touching that little SMA. And look at right here where it had that high this morning. You see where it's kind of touch stack right there. So I'd call that a pretty solid support. Now, like I said, I took this off my watch list Friday. Vegas was in the room and she started noticing the volume friday she kind of caught her eye and she said jim you know we got this off of our watch list but but she's seen the the, the little volume spike and it kind of come to her attention brought it to her attention and it pulled back down to that 416 cent level well this morning right out of the gate man it started bouncing up off that 416 and we were just laughing it off all day but then you know, a person has to take something like this serious. Sometimes the news ain't all about a stock. It's about, sometimes it's about volume over price. And that's what you're seeing today. Because the news, you know, if people pay attention, they they would know that this is going to be a crummy play. But maybe, 
my mind's going to change about it now. But here's IGC. Keep it on your watch list. It's pulled back to that 200 SMA on a year on a daily one minute chart. And don't forget, I added that 100 on my SMA this week to do a case study. So there you go, IGC. Okay. So next is we traded PEIX today. Oh yeah. And let me tell you, that was a really good one. Swing. Uh, we actually even swing traded this one, and the reason we liked it um, is, you know, someone did mention that uh, Trump was looking to uh, provide uh, a pro-ethanol measure, apparently, tomorrow. So apparently he's expected to lift the ban on summer sales of the ethanol blends of gas um, ahead of his trip to Iowa. We'll see if that actually has, happens. That's the talk. And, you know, if you guys don't know, Iowa is the largest U.S. producer of ethanol. So that's big news. So as a result, we noticed some of these uh, tickers that are related to ethanol were moving. So PEIX is one. Jim's going to talk about the chart in a second. But also connected with that is also AMTX. And also people are watching GIVO. So keep an eye oh, on wow. this. Look at that yeah. spot. Look at that spike after hours on PEIX. I'm just, I'm looking, I'm looking. 309. So, yeah. That's so impressive. This was alerted here in the room. At what price? Do you remember? Uh, well, I, I said I was getting in it at 282 right before the bell rang. Yeah. So uh, we were reviewing this in the, in the group. And uh, this was alerted during the day by Overnight King, actually. Uh, he liked it at, uh, let's see, 274 and he was going to buy any dips he could all the way down to 268 because that's where the support was. And uh, his target was 3 bucks, and bingo, he got his target. And, so and it, I like it. And I'm looking at the yearly chart here, and we bounced off that 50 SMA on a yearly daily. And, and I was calling these resistances out next one next one you know like an idiot i i didn't really get involved in the trade until later in the day i had a good chance to get in there at 250 and i should have should have had and jumped on in this trade but i didn't so i'm swinging this i think i can take this thing up to 314 it looks to me like after hours we kind of kind of almost come right to it to that 314 level we have a high oh look at there we bounced up above it now since i've been talking about it we're at yeah. 318, so I hit my resistance. And now, I'm gonna, being as I've got everybody on here, let's see if we can find us a new resistance real fast for this sucker. So I'm going to pull up yeah. that year's chart. And I got that, helpful. that 314 hit that 200 SMA, so we're going to bounce up just one more little trend line up here. Let's take it to 230 tomorrow. Let's have no, that on our... You mean 3.30, Jim? Yeah, 3.30. Right? 3.30. <laughs> we don't want to short this. I'm getting excited. <laughs> yeah. 3.30 and 3.40. So, play. And I've got these. Yeah, I'm okay. Hey, well, there you go. Can't beat that on a on a good summer day, fall day. Yeah. Well, you know what? I like it. So far, so good. Yeah, and, and, and hail to all the farmers out there. But I like it a lot now. <laughs> You know, yeah. I like it a lot more now. I'm up 30 some well, cents. I'm quite pleased with this trade as an overnight pick. So and, add, uh, yeah. that's a nice, beautiful trade. Add, Happy. add GEVO to that, G-E-V-O, and then add this long shot, A-M-T-X, A-M-T-X. And Ve okay. Vegas, here's another one and, that, that we love. Well, here, 322 now. Man, yeah. our next target on PEIX is 327. All right. Okay, so let's go to MNGA, Vegas. Oh, yeah, the Magnet Gas. So that one, you guys, knew was a nice little runner last week. And today, I uh, noticed the volume on it. I'm like, you know what? A lot of people sold their shares last week, made money. Some people doubled and tripled, so congratulations. Uh, but we spotted this around 33, 34 cents, shared the idea. And I'm looking honestly on this one, looking for at least 40 to 45 next, maybe even 48. But I'm going to let Jim show the chart and he can give us a little bit more details there. But those are kind of the numbers I'm looking at. 
and uh, swing traded this one overnight for a potential move maybe tomorrow. Yep. Now, Vegas and I called this out in the room a couple weeks ago at 14 cents, and I started noticing some movement on it. And this has been a, a stock that she's had in her pockets for a while now, and she's fairly confident in it. And they're bringing in profit. So we took this thing, and it ran all the way up to 73 cents on that call. Now we've had the consolidated period, and it really ain't been that far away. It's only been four days ago, and each day it's kind of bounced up. The day after it had a pretty nice little bounce up there to 5.4, came right back down, consolidated, and then we had a good little consolidation on a Friday where it just didn't really do much. It just came down and then hovered in a little channel. Well, today it hovered in that channel again and finally broke out at the end of the day. So this is one we want to keep on watch. This is one that Vegas is currently holding. And this is one that I probably should have been in today, but I was flipping so many other stocks today. I just didn't want to get ahead of myself. I only like to do one trade at a time, sometimes two. And so this is MNGA. And I want to give kudos out to a guy named out there named Lizard King. He brought up we brought up IGC the other day, and he got in that thing this, this morning, and I think he made a killing on that. So, Lizard King, kudos to yeah. you on IGC. He sure did. I think he got in there at 565. So yeah, he, he did. did. He no, tore it up. Great. He did great. And he went against our best wishes. And that's what you do when you have a stock that you have the volume over price. So, I just wanted to bring that back up. And Yeah, definitely. So that was our good little updates there on the markets for today. You know, not as much as we normally talk about, not too much information because, you know, some of the um, action on the market was a little bit slow at certain times. The SPY was red, then the SPY recovered, um, turned green. So the market started to wake up a little more. So, um, you know, some of the other swings that we talked about before, like FPA still on there and uh, BLPH is on there. So... You know, some of these things take time for the move. So um, we'll see what the market shows us tomorrow. And I uh, want to thank everyone for your great comments. I'm hearing people are learning, finding the videos helpful. That's what it's all about. If you have suggestions, don't feel shy. Just, you can even come visit us in our little uh, chat room. Come check it out. Uh, there is never going to be any kind of... Um, follow-up pressure to say oh what happened you're not in the room like you know what just come check it out maybe it's for you maybe it's not it doesn't matter as long as you're learning and making money that's what counts it's really an educational platform so come visit love to meet you love to hear more about women traders out there I'm meeting so many women traders actually so i'm a big fan of my women traders and i uh, love it because we are so much more patient and sometimes we're not but uh, definitely had a great day with everyone. Really enjoyed uh, meeting people. And Jim's loving it. And we love stocks. Right, Jim? Yep. And I'm getting ready to sell my... Oh, <laughs> He's going to sell his PEIX, guys. Sell so my PEIX right here. Let's see if we can get some profit on this thing. Probably can run more, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to take money. Oh. Put it in the wrong order. Well, I'll do this after we close. But I want to wish everybody a great day. And uh, appreciate you watch, watching the Aftermarket Report with Jim in Vegas. October 8th, 2013. <laughs> 2018. Oh my God, Jim's losing his mind. <laughs> okay, guys, have a good one. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care, study, and uh, we'll trade again tomorrow. Bye for now. I love stocks.